Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up your DigiSign players and CMS. The DigiSign players, we have the Android player, the 50799. We have the Windows based player, the 50789. And I'm going to describe to you how to set up a basic install. Uh, and so in this video, we're going to see installing a bit of networking, net common networking issues you may have. And, and in the following video, we're, we're going to discuss operation, how to use the CMS, common tasks that you might want to do with the CMS. So to get started, the first thing you're going to need, obviously, is your players. You're going to need a computer, and you're going to need, obviously, your network. We have a non-cloud CMS, so it's a CMS app that you install on your computer. It's available for Windows PCs for now. Uh, and it works, uh, like I said, it's a standalone software works on your computer. It does not even require your internet. If you have a secured installation that does not have internet, you can use the whole system without internet as well. So that's a um, one CMS that we have. We also have a cloud version of the CMS. So you log into cloud.muxlab.com slash digisign, and that's a cloud, fully cloud-based uh, CMS. You log in there, you discover your players there, and you do your scheduling, your content, everything from the cloud-based CMS. So you can pick and choose whichever one you want. Uh, that being said, the cloud CMS for now is available with the Android player, the 799, and uh, soon will hopefully be available for the Windows player, player as well. Uh, so if you have an Android player, you can choose the cloud or the no cloud CMS. If you have Windows, you're going with the Windows-based CMS for now. You can download the CMS, the non-cloud one, at muxlab.com slash digisign. You'll find links over there to download it. Okay, so now that you picked the CMS, you're going to go ahead and log into your CMS, cloud or no cloud, and you're going to want to pair your units. So first step is you go to the units page, and you, on the no cloud uh, version of the CMS, you would go ahead and click auto discover. Normally, you're going to see your units show up in that list. You take them off and you click pair. At that point, these units are now connected to the CMS, and the security that comes with the pairing process means that only the CMS can control uh, the players. Uh, outside sources at this point cannot send commands to your players. Uh, it's, it's paired to the CMS. If you do need third-party integration with things like QSIS or URC or other control uh, pr uh, tools, uh, inside your CMS you'll see some uh, tokens, or kind of like passwords, that you would put into these tools and that allows you to send secure authenticated requests, API commands, to the devices to play content and do all types of things. Um, so this is the process that's involved with um, pairing your units Android or Windows in the no-cloud CMS. So again, you would click Discover, you would see them, you would take them off, great. Okay, so pairing a device on the cloud is a little bit different, uh, although it's still very simple. You would go inside your cloud account, again, cloud.muxlab.com slash digisign. You're going to log in, click on the workspace that you created, and you would go to the units page. At this point, you don't do an auto discover, you just click new unit, and then you're gonna be asked for your pairing code. The pairing code is something that you'll see if you plug in your 799 to a TV via HDMI, and of course you supply an internet connection to the 799 uh, for it to be able to communicate with the cloud, then on the screen you will see a pairing code. It's a nine digit code. You type it into the, uh, to this area on the uh, cloud CMS, and you click OK, and as soon as that's done, your unit will be now paired to the cloud. On the cloud, there is um, a billing involved for every unit that's added to the cloud, and so you're going to want to make sure to enable billing before doing this process. You'll be prompted to in the CMS in any case, but you need to make sure that billing is enabled, and then you'll be able to add a player as we discuss. Take the pairing code from the TV screen, type it into the CMS, and press OK, and then you're done. Okay, so let's discuss troubleshooting. In the ideal case, things went as we described. In the no cloud CMS, you just click discover, you see your units, you save, and everything's great. On the cloud CMS, you enter your parent code, you click save, everything's great. But things are not always great. Uh, so let's go through the different issues that you may have during pairing, and uh, we'll try to address the different common issues that you may have, and that way you can get your units paired and continue on to the next videos about using the CMS, doing different uh, common tasks uh, that people do. So, 
uh, well, the first case that we're going to discuss is when you boot up your unit and you don't see an IP address. If you look on the uh, bottom uh, right of the screen, you should have the IP address of the device uh, visible when you boot up either the Android player or the Windows player. If you don't see an IP address, um, that uh, can be caused by a number of things. First thing that it may be is that there's no DHCP server available in your network. So if you're just using a switch that doesn't have DHCP on, then that may be an issue that you may have uh, during boot. Your unit will not get an IP and naturally you will not be able to discover it or communicate with it in any way. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that there is a DHCP server on your network. If you need to work with static IP, that's fine, but you'll need to first set up the Windows player on a DHCP enabled network, set all your units to a static IP, and then you can come back to your uh, network that doesn't have DHCP. If you're using the Android player, you don't need to do that step. You can directly plug in a mass and keyboard to the Android player, and during boot, you'll see a blue button over here that says Open Network Settings. You can click that, and on screen, you can type in a static IP, and that way you don't need to go back and forth uh, in order to configure it. And once you set your static IP, you can try again, discover your units, and then add them. Okay, assuming that we do have an IP address now when we boot, we can see it in the bottom right corner. That's great, that's the first step. Uh, if you're still unable to discover it, the first thing you should know is that you can always add the unit manually. You can click New Unit in the No Cloud CMS and just type in the IP address over there, and you should be able to add the unit without going through the discovery. On some networks, there are things that prevent the discovery from happening, uh, and so if that's what's going on, you can always add it manually. That being said, if you still want to try the auto discovery, which is nice to have, you can check, first of all, your laptop. See if there's a firewall antivirus VPN. Turn them off temporarily and try the discovery again. That might be causing the, uh, the, the problems with discovery. In that case, you may want to close the CMS and reopen it with those tools off and try again. Sometimes some VPNs, even though the VPN may actually be off right now, they have a setting called hide me on the network. We've seen that with different VPNs. And even while the VPN is off, it's still um, prevents you from discovering devices or other disco devices discovering you on the network. So you might want to check that in your VPN also. Um, that being said, you can always uh, try, if that's not the case, to ping the device. So you go inside a command prompt type ping, P-I-N-G, and then the space, the IP address that you see on the TV screen, and see if you're getting a response. That just proves, will, it will allow you to know that you, your laptop is able to communicate with the player on a low networking level. Um, so like I said, sometimes there are things that prevent that. Sometimes you do have a DHCP server, but uh, for some reason, uh, your device and your player and your laptop may be on a different subnet. So these are different things that you might want to check with if you have an IT uh, uh, technician uh, that's uh, available uh, to check things out. If there is no IP, if there is an IP, you're on a different subnet. For some reason, you can't ping the device. You might want to check with an IT specialist as to what may be going on. So at this point, we're hoping that you were able to pair your device, either because you were able to enable DHCP or because you were able to set a static IP on the same subnet and communicate with it. If you did have trouble uh, with auto discovery, you will be prompted when you add manually a device in the CMS, you will be prompted to turn off the auto discovery feature. That's actually something important to do because DigiSign, in order for it to give you info about the status of your players, it runs an auto discovery in the background when you turn it on and every uh, at every certain interval. And if every unit is disconnected, it'll tell you, hey, a unit's disconnected. So if the discovery never worked, then that's something you're going to want to turn off because it's going to try a discovery, you won't find the unit, it's going to tell you, hey, the unit's disconnected when it's not true. Uh, so you will want to turn that feature off. And again, uh, if that's the case, you want to make sure your devices are on a static IP because if they're on DHCP and the IP does change, uh, then you won't know that it's not connected anymore, not, not able to find it anymore because your auto discovery is off and the IP may have changed on the ACP, the HCP and the CMS won't know about that change. So if you're turning off auto discovery, which you should if you have discovery issues, make sure your units are on static IP. That way they're always on that IP and if ever the CMS cannot find the unit at that IP, it'll rightfully tell you the unit's disconnected. So those are the common issues people have with discovery. Uh, hopefully you were able to resolve your issue with this. 
you can look out for the next videos on actually using the CMS, different tasks that uh, you may want to do, creating content, we're going to explain the different widgets, the scheduling, um, and what to do in case that uh, you ever have trouble with your player and you want to reset it. So uh, we'll see you in the next video.